To you. Stephanie, you here. Electricity. How do we make it? Simple. You make electricity by moving a magnet past a wire. by moving a wire past a magnet. See, it works either way. Didn't I tell you it was simple? But let's face it, this isn't very practical. I'm not making very much electricity, not even enough to light up a light bulb. And even if I were, this electricity is coming in spurts. It's not steady. Imagine using something like this to run the lights in your house. First they go on and off, on and off, and on and off. You go crazy. No, for the lights and all the other electric stuff in your house, you need a steady flow of electricity. You need a generator. That's a machine that makes electricity. How does a generator work? Simple. Let me show you. A generator uses this same stuff, a magnet and a wire. It's just set up differently. See, here's the wire, but instead of being a straight piece, I wrapped it around this piece of wood. I stuck the knitting needle through this piece of wood, and when I put it in here, I can make it spin round and round. And here's the magnet. See, the wire's kind of inside the magnet. When I spin it, the wire turns inside the magnet. Electricity is made, it goes through these wires, and lights up the light bulb. Didn't I tell you it was simple? Now, you do need something to turn the wire inside the magnet. In this case, it's me, Kid Power. And yes, this is a really little light bulb. You couldn't ever read by it. So, this isn't very practical either. You can make a steady flow of electricity by using a generator like this, but you can't make a lot of it. And after a while, your arm gets really tired. So, what do we use to make all the electricity we use every day? Simple. We make big generators. And if kid powers out, what do you use to make the wire spin in the magnet? Lots of stuff. This is Las Vegas city of bright lights. Where does Las Vegas get the power to keep all those electric lights flashing? Hoover Dam. The dam holds back the Colorado River and forms Lake Mead. But it does more. It uses water power to make electric power. Here's how it works. Water is released through an opening near the bottom of the dam. A turbine is placed so the water turns its blades. The turbine is attached to a generator where the turbine turns a shaft. The shaft turns a coil of wire inside a magnet, and that makes electricity. By increasing the water flow, you increase the force on the turbine and get more electricity. This electricity is carried through wires to light up buildings and run our television sets. So, what keeps the lights on in Las Vegas? Water power from Hoover Dam, that's what. So, water from the dam turns the blades of a turbine, which turn the coils of wire inside the magnet, which generates electricity. Miguel found out you can turn turbine blades with something else. This is a wind farm. Each of these windmills is an electric generator. I really wanted to find out how a windmill could make electricity. Yeah, how you doing? All right. Uh, my name's Miguel. Yep, Ricky. What are you doing out here? 
Alright, uh, get ready to do some maintenance on the top of that tower there. All the way up that tower? All the way up there. And Ricky said the easiest way to understand yeah, was to climb up and look at the machinery. Start climbing up. That's the way right there. It'll be right behind it. Okay. Watch your safety clamp there. There you go. It's a little tricky when you're getting up in the cage now. Just make sure you got a hold of something at all times. Tie yourself in there. Exactly how does this work? Okay, well, we get the wind, and the wind turns the blades. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it comes with generator, and the generator starts producing electricity. So you need the wind the to wind. create the motion yeah. to make the electricity. Yeah, exactly. So this is the exact opposite of an electric fan. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, you're using electricity to create motion in an electric fan. Here it's the exact opposite. You're yeah. using motion to create electricity. The real incredible thing about it is that, you know, you don't have to dig it up or anything. It's just, it's right here. You're using wind to make electricity. Uh -huh. it's pretty yeah, that is, it's, that is really incredible. electricity water can make electricity does that shock you well steam can make electricity too get this I switched my generator from kid power to steam power the steam is doing all the work the only thing I have to do is keep the kettle boiling of course, that's simple for me. I can just plug in the hot plate. But if you have a big generator that runs on steam, the way a lot of cities and towns do, it's not so simple. You have to find some other way to get the water to boil. You have to burn some kind of fuel. fuel power plant. Fernando Cortez is going to show me how they make electricity here. This is our main turbine room floor. This is where we have all the turbines and generators that produce electricity. Wow. You start from the other end of the room. We have unit The first one. place we went was inside the boiler. So big. Yeah, well, we need a lot of steam to produce electricity. This unit uh, provides 2 million pounds of steam per hour to the turbine. Well, how can it provide steam if there's no water? The water comes in through big pipes from the city. Mm -hmm. It comes into the boiler, and then it goes into these tubes. You mean inside these things that look like pipes? That's right, all these tubes here. Well, what heats the water? The water is heated up by the burners. Oh, so there's supposed to be flames coming out of these? That's right. If there was fire coming out of them, then we couldn't be in here, right? Definitely not. It's about <laughs> 3,000 degrees temperature in here. Wow. What's that? Those are the TV monitors, and they monitor the, the burning of the fuel inside of the boiler. We burn oil in the boiler and heat up the water, which turns into steam in the boiler. Okay. The steam is then sent to a turbine. The turbine is a series of blades attached to a shaft. As the steam impacts on the blades, it makes the turbine turn. Okay. What does that pressure gauge indicate? That tells you the pressure of the steam from the boiler going into the turbine. Well, how is the pressure built up in the first place? The pressure comes, if you could imagine, a tea kettle on top of the stove. As you heat up the water, it produces steam and builds up pressure and temperature. Is this the inside of a turbine? Yes, this is the inside of the turbine. And the steam makes it move around and around? Yes, the steam comes in, hits the blades, and makes this thing spin. Something like a windmill? 
Yes, except that the steam turns the blades instead of the wind. And so what happens after the turbine is continuously moving around and around? The turbine is attached to the generator by the shaft. The generator is a powerful magnet which turns within a coil of copper wire and induces an electrical current in the copper wire. The turbine turns a magnet inside a coil of wire in these generators and that's what makes electricity? Yes. Well, after the electrical current is produced, where does it go from there? It goes up to the roof to the high tension wires. See that tanker over there, Robin? Mm -hmm. That's where all the oil comes into the station. It goes into the tanks, and from the tanks, it goes into our boilers to be burned. Now, how does the electricity get out to people's houses? These wires? It comes out through the high tension lines, the wires, goes into the transformer. The transformer picks up the voltage and pushes electricity into your homes. Now, when you said high tension wires, does that just mean that there's a whole lot of electricity coming out of these wires? We produce about 1,400 megawatts an hour. That is equivalent to running 100,000 TVs for a whole year. So next time I turn on my TV, I will appreciate it. So much goes into producing electricity for people's homes. I will not take it for granted. There's more than one way to boil water to make steam. You don't have to burn oil. People are figuring out other ways to heat things up. Miguel was wandering in the desert, don't ask me why, and he stumbled on one. I was in the desert near Barstow, California, when I saw something really strange. Hundreds of giant mirrors. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I was just camping out in the desert and I saw this thing up there and I just decided I'd come around and take a look. What is this place? This is the Solar One Generating Station and we're testing production of electrical power with the use of sunlight. Chuck Lopez is the site manager of the Solar One project. He explained how the whole place worked. We have a collection of heliostats. Mirrors, they're called heliostats? Right, the collection of 12 mirrors we call a heliostat, and we have 1,818 of these. And what do they do? Well, they reflect the sun image off the glassware onto the receiver, which is a boiler. That glowing thing, that's the thing that caught my eye. That's called a receiver? Yes, we call it a receiver. Since the sun moves, how do you keep the sun's reflection on that receiver? Well, the heliostats are controlled with a computer that's located in the control room. Aha, uh -huh. computers, of course. All right. The computers direct the heliostats to follow the sun as it moves across the sky. So its rays stay focused on the receiver at the top of the tower. There's water inside the receiver, and the sun's heat makes it boil and turn to steam. The steam travels under pressure down pipes in the tower and into a turbine where its force turns a shaft. The turning shaft goes from the turbine into a generator and that's where the electricity is produced. You can make electricity by moving a magnet past a wire or by moving a wire past a magnet. A generator makes a steady flow of electricity by spinning a coil of wire inside a magnet. To run a generator, you need a power source. The force of flowing water or wind can turn a turbine, which turns the wire inside the magnet. Or by using the sun or oil to heat water, you can make steam to turn the turbine. 3 to 1 Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television.